Cameron and Lauren B just said they love each other after four days of talking. I'm okay. Okay. I haven't done communal laundry since my freshman year of college. Yeah, I just don't do that because of the germs. I just I cannot believe that. I'm moving to Texas. I'm gonna be a Texas girl. I'm gonna be Happy Friday. It is Friday, February 28th. Um, and I just got home from work and I have such good news to share. So I got a job and I'm moving to Min I'm moving from Minneapolis to my new state further south <laughs> um, in about three weeks. So um, it had to have been like towards the end of January, sometime in February, I'd applied for a job and didn't really hear anything and then they got back to me and I did an interview, like just a phone screening with the recruiter and then she set up um, Skype interviews for me with the team and I didn't honestly feel that good going into the interview and or coming out of it. Um, I think I did like a lot of preparing and like learning about the company, but I didn't do as much like mock interview practice as I probably should have, but overall they liked me well enough. They gave me an offer. I negotiated a little bit and once we kind of came to a good meeting point, um, I accepted their offer. And I submitted my paperwork earlier this week and your girl is moving. So I am overjoyed. If you cannot tell my books that like sit in my books in my window seal, they're no longer like spying out. They're getting ready to get packed up. Um, I've taken down all of my like little artwork that's been on my wall. That's come down. My cookbooks have come off the top of my refrigerator. I've already packed up two of the nesting suitcases that come in this big one right here. And I'm about to eat something really quick because I have a headache, but then I need to run to Target and pick up some moving boxes. Let me just tell you guys where I'm going. I'm moving to Dallas, Texas. I'm so excited. So, so, so excited. Um, I have always wanted to live in Texas. Um, I never knew where though. I didn't know if I wanted to live in Dallas or Houston or Austin. Um, never really thought about San Antonio, but I am moving to Dallas. I'm so excited. I have classmates and really close friends that live in Dallas, so I'll finally have a community. I am going to miss, like, the handful of people and handful of friendships that I've made up here in Minneapolis, but I'm going somewhere a lot warmer, a lot closer to home, more sunshine, so I think I'm going to be just, like, mentally in a much better space, and I've already made like leaps and bounds throughout my like mental health um, journey and I'm finally like riding a high again and I'm really excited and really happy about that. But I am sad that I'm going to be losing my therapist. So my, ther my therapist is only licensed to work with people who live in Minneapolis or not Minneapolis but who live in Minnesota. And so I'm really bummed. My last day with her is going to be the 21st of March. So... Right now, we're going to put together kind of like a plan um, to kind of help me continue like this whole healing and making sure that I'm staying on a good path um, and continuing to make the progress and like continue to put in the work and build on what I've already done. So I'm excited about that, but I'm bummed out to lose her. And then it's just like a process to find a therapist this one just like came at the right time like just right place right time and then now i have to find a new one so i'm not too happy about that but i'm just excited for a new journey i'm so excited i'm really tired right now and i have a headache so i'm not showing as much joy but i'm just so blessed like god knew exactly what i needed and he knew exactly when i needed it and i'm just so thankful for that because you know, the devil will throw little things at you, and I'm not going to lie, like, I had some stuff thrown at me pretty recently, and I was highly considering not accepting the offer and staying here, 
and I'm just so glad that I did not listen to that. I'm just so happy that I slept on it. I talked with my family. I talked with my friends. I talked with my therapist. I prayed about it, and this is the move that I need to make so I can just have a fresh start and just start to live the happy, like, excited, joyful life that I know I'm destined to have and that I've had before. So I'm ready to get back to that space, and I just, I cannot believe that I'm moving to Texas. shaking I should have taken my little rolly cart with me but I just picked up these boxes I got two plastic bins and they come with lids and then I got two just regular moving boxes some moving tape just a candle because it was three dollars and I needed another candle because I can burn the heck out of the candles I also got a green juice because I haven't really been eating too hot um, this week that's why I had that apple earlier and I went to get some goodie powders, but they don't carry goodie powders at the Target near me. They carry these BC powders. It's literally just like aspirin in a powdered form. If you did not know this, I actually struggle like severely to swallow pills. So, um, I just like take these instead. So, they taste awful because they're literally just like ground up aspirin which is disgusting so I'm gonna take it with this green juice and then I'm gonna lay down for a little while because this headache is like really kind of wigging me out right now I just feel so lightheaded so weak so I think once I take this it should kick in in less than half an hour and I should be fine again so I'll check back in after I do that <sighs> okay so it's about 10 o'clock and I just took another BC powder um, and I've just kind of spent the last like hour watching a little bit of YouTube and putting together some information for my move for my parents so I found a place for us to pick up the U-Haul a place to drop off the U-Haul I've kind of just mapped everything out our driving route so we're gonna I find it better for us to like drive more hours the first day. We're going to split the day into two trips. So our first stop is going to be in Joplin, Missouri, which is like, it's going to be a nine hour day. Um, but I just kind of want to show you guys this. So I just made a spreadsheet and it just kind of details like where we're picking up the truck, where we're going to drop it off, like how much it's going to cost. And then just like travel wise, like it's going to, take like almost nine hours on day one but then it's only going to take roughly six hours on day two this is like the list of apartments that I'm interested in and now I had to find a car so I just feel like it's better to keep it all in one space that way me my mom my dad we can all just access it and I'm gonna just like keep updating it throughout um and it will just always stay updated so that's kind of what I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, I had a headache. And so hopefully that second goodie or that second BC powder kicks in pretty soon. It tasted like so salty this time around. I don't know why, but it did. Um, so yeah, I'm. A, it's 10 o'clock and I've been going to bed so late every night this week. It's kind of like I've been catching my second wind at the worst time. Um, and I haven't been going to bed until after midnight. And that's just not going to cut it anymore. You guys, I'm 28 years old. I know I don't look like it, but I'm 28 and I need to start acting like it. So I need to start working out more. I need to start drinking more water. I need to watch what I'm eating. Um, and I need to go to bed at a good time. So that's exactly what I'm about to do, but I will check back in, um, in the morning. I hope you all are having a great Friday and I'm just going to turn this into a weekend vlog. So Friday is wrapped up. I will check back in with you all, um, tomorrow, Saturday morning.
off the phone with my best friend. Um, we try and talk as often as we possibly can. I just opened the blinds and I really need to get up. Um, I really have like things I need to do today. I haven't even washed my face, so I probably look gross. But after last night and like all the sirens and all the noise, like I've never been more eager to move back to like a suburban area. <laughs> um, I'm just, I'm kind of done. I'm kind of over it. So today is March 1st. I have about, I'm thinking I have about 20 days, um, 20, 20, between 20 and 27 days before I move. And I have a lot to do in between now and then. So today's task relating to the move is I need to pack up these four boxes that I bought and I need to call all the apartment complexes that I'm interested in touring and leasing with to figure out like, hey, your website says like, yeah, you have washers and dryers, but some of them are like, oh, washer and dryer and unit, washer and dryer connections. Like I need to know which of you apartments have an actual washer and dryer in the unit because I'm not going out to like, you know, rent or buy a washer and dryer to put in an apartment. Like, no, I'm not doing that. So if anything that can help me on my apartment search, because then I'll know like, oh, they don't have a washer and dryer, so I don't need to stay there. And I don't do communal laundry. Like I haven't done communal laundry since my freshman year of college. Yeah, I just don't do that because germs. I need to get up, tackle the kitchen. I need to eat something. And I just need to start packing. So that is what's on the agenda for today. Let's see if I can make something shake. <laughs> Gotten some things done. I'm very proud of myself. Um, I did some laundry. I ran my dishwasher. I am finally like decluttering and starting to pack stuff up. So I went ahead and tackled my dresser and some of my closet first. Um, just going through my dresser drawers, I pulled out things that I know I'm not going to take with me. Maybe just like old things or things I just know that I haven't worn in a while and that I'm not going to, that I'm not ever going to wear. So I pulled those out. I'm about to put together my boxes for shoes. I'm also watching Love is Blind for the first time, so um, I'm in like a group, me and a bunch of people were talking about it, and so I'm just very curious to see how this goes. So I'm watching that, and eventually I have hash browns and eggs that have been sitting out since like noon. I should probably make those. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on right now. I'm just kind of like taking it easy focusing on this and yeah that's what's going on so I will check back in a little bit later watch this and then I'm gonna put finish putting my movie boxes together.
happen in real life. Talk to somebody for four days and you're like, I'm all in, I wanna be with you, I wanna marry you. This is, this is my life. already and <laughs> honestly the concept is is so so good like sit in a room and honestly just communicate with a person like granted yes you should be physically attracted to your partner but I think emotionally and like mentally those are major keys like that's what's going to keep you with a person if you're not because there are gonna be days where you I'm gonna look like this and I'm not gonna be all done up and you should know that because of my personality or the type of person that I am, you still want to be with me. So this is actually very interesting. Um, this whole, I think it was like Lauren B and the scientist and then Mark and Jessica are getting a lot of airtime, Carlton and Diamond. So I'm very interested to see like where these go. I haven't read anything on social media yet. I think the show is over or whatever, but... I haven't read anything on social media yet about it, so I kind of just want to see this all unfold for myself, so that's what's going on. Cameron and Lauren B just said they love each other after four days of talking. Are you crying? I'm okay, okay. They say, if you know, you know. So good for them. I'm now I'm very invested in them and I want to see how this plays out. So I may have to look for some spoilers. Hey Kevin, I was calling because I was looking at your apartments online and I was wondering if your units come with washers and dryers already in them or is it just connections? <laughs> bachelorette parties and the weddings for tomorrow um, I have gotten a lot done in regard to packing shoes so I have two full boxes of shoes and then I also have like a pile of shoes over there that I'm gonna probably just donate I feel like it's just gonna take too much energy and I'm not gonna have enough time to like sell them um, I typically sell stuff through Poshmark and it I can normally sell shoes through Poshmark and actually get what I ask for. A lot of times people will lowball you on Poshmark and I'm just like, no, like just give, I'm literally giving it to you for already less than half off. Just give me what I'm asking for. And so I just don't have time for that right now. So I think I'm just going to try to find a way to donate them. Um, and 
Today is the 1st of March and so I want to try something new. I want to try to be in bed by 10 p.m. and I also want to try to read for 30 minutes every day for the month of March. So it's 9.19 right now. Oh, my best friend's calling me. Hold on, I'll check back in. Okay, so I am going to wrap up this weekend vlog here. I've got a mask on. I've got my aligners in, so I'm trying to be a good adult. I'm trying to take care of myself. I pay too much for these aligners to not wear them as often. I was supposed to have straight teeth in November. Still don't. Let's see what I can have like five months from now. But yes, um, shoes boxed up over there. Shoes that I'm going to potentially donate. Trash is over there. So I'm making some moves. The closet looks a lot better right now. Everything that I have in my closet is basically just like essential stuff. So this will get packed up very soon. But these are just tops that I'm currently wearing because it's still cold up here. Suitcases are packed. So you guys, um, I've got like clothes in each one of these. I'm donating all of this stuff right here. I'm going to leave these hanging and just like group them together and hang them in the truck. And then I will put... Um, all my bedding and linens and the rest of the stuff that's in the um, bathroom slash laundry room in its own box. So yeah, I was able to get some type of work done today. So yeah, we're just going to go with it, but I hope you all had a great weekend and I will check back in soon.